sorry I'm so late. I just had to go through some files for a client. Is everyone doing okay? Tommy? What about you? Tommy, we can't keep changing your availability. You're a great worker, but this is a business. I'm gonna need a physical copy of your schedule because it doesn't seem right to me. And please, for God's sake, do not turn in a paper littered with grammatical errors. And for the last time, can we please put the phones away? Let's get started with today's session. Is um is this the group therapy for drug court? Yes, it is. You can go ahead and sit wherever you'd like. Since we have a new person here today, let us all introduce ourselves and name our drug of choice. Starting with you, Kenzie. Hi, my name's Kenzie, and my drug of choice is ecstasy. Hey, my name is Tommy, and me. Hi, I'm Alex, and I guess I like Xanax. It's Ray. And I like weed, too. My name's Jay. I love blue magic. My name is Charmaine, and I'm going to be your counselor here on the road to recovery. I know many of you guys don't want to be here, but we're going to try and make this session a meaningful one. One by one, I'd like to start off with all of you guys telling me what it was like the first time you used and why you started doing it. When I first tried heroin, I felt at peace. It wasn't something I was afraid of or put much thought into. It was a party. It was normal to me. I didn't feel like anything this great should be frowned upon and tabooed and my friends my friends and friends and my friends encouraged me to do it i fell in love with that first high all right tommy your turn i'm good all right go ahead and wait for me outside my office if you leave this is going on your casework There's just way too much at stake here. You know, I read your file. I know you haven't paid your court fees in three weeks. Are you having trouble coming up with the money? You ask as if you can actually help. Listen, I can't give you the money. But I can help you to progress in this program. Progress? I'm already trying to progress my life. I'm a full-time student. I work full-time and I still manage to make it to these stupid court therapy sessions. The court is making me do this. Why? Because of weed. I got caught with weed and some pills that weren't even mine. But of course, nobody's going to believe me. You know, there are people who are getting murdered. People who are getting raped. People poisoning an entire city's water supply. Who's going to jail for that? I don't want to go to jail. But I can't pay this. This is not my fault. So whose fault is it? 